Why do you say this? That? Because that's the type of god I am. Are you seriously trying to tell me you're an evil god? So she's uh, she's not a she's not a ghost. She's a god. That doesn't seem very religious. Religion is just a word that some people use to classify gods. Okay. So what can you do to prove to me that I'm a god? Because so far. So far this just seems like a lot of bullshit. Start the ground contemplating if you want to continue this line of questioning. No, I don't. I do. I want to go fucking do it. Fine. You want proof? I'll give you proof. I'll show you the next best thing to seeing the world burn. She stops and closes her eyes for a moment. Why do I want the world to burn? See a greenish glow surrounding her entire body. She holds up her hands and the bar room goes silent. We're in the bar again. Or I thought, I don't know where, I don't even fucking know where we're at anymore. Listen carefully. What you are about, what you are about sight is an abomination of God's power. And to show you is pointless, how pointless it is, I will destroy it right now. What? The barroom goes silent as you watch her. Okay. Well, let's show me. I'm very curious about this. I miss Anna. With all the speed of this man and more, crunch into that bastard and breaks his bones. Try not to break your own. You nod and make haste out of the barroom. You sprint for the stairs while Wendy charges up and then forward with all her might. Who's Wendy? She slams into Zal, and they both go tumbling down the stairs. Wait, wait, did you just make them do this? You reach the bottom quickly, you reach the bottom quickly and plow your fist into Zal's face. He tries to get up, but Wendy's on top of him and lands another hit after you hit him. Jesus, oh, we're just beating the shit out of this guy, and I don't know who the fuck is Wendy? You continue to pummel him as people step out of the way, and then from behind you start to as some people you start to as some people seem to take pleasure in seeing this. What? The mighty fuck is going on? Like, I'm so confused. Why am I beating someone? Look at all this blood. His nose is broken and, is, and has a black eye. How about you? This has gotten weird. Wendy shouts as she continues to hit Zal. I still think you're just story of drunk of a drunk fighting. You hear someone say. What about that scar on his chin? That's from a gunshot. What the hell is going on? No, no, we're getting out of this. Fucking, this is weird. Story of a guy who was a hunter. How about the hand that scraped his body uh, uh, was a miner too? Because there's, they're pointy. I Oh, this is... Okay, you know what? I go home because... Shit is very confusing and I no longer want to be in the bar where people I don't know are randomly fighting. I say, I need no need to be embarrassed, young one. What adventures you have you been on? And with a beauty no less. I look at what was her name, Carla. Oh yeah, we're gonna do. How does and say how does this prove anything? 
I don't see how this makes me a god. <laughs> Carla is a big, beautiful woman with long, curly red hair. Ooh. It looks natural, and you're pretty sure it's naughtily curled. Okay, well, that's cool, but that doesn't answer my question. Well, if you're not doing it right, then I'm going to have to do it for you. Curse is walking up not too far from you. Hey! Uh, where is this going? Stepping. Hey, you say stepping back. Carla then proceeds to do a very good impression of Wendy. She slams her fist into Zal and goes down. Everyone is beating poor Zal. I look at Carla. Why is everyone beating Zal? Like he's a punching bag or something. Well, if you're not going to do it, then I will. What can one little girl do? Righteousness can't be denied. What? This is not what I said. This is even an answer to what I said. Not by gods or mortals. Carla holds up her hand and the people in the uh, bar room follow suit. What? You say in disbelief. What are you doing? Carla asks. Why is Carla asking that? Because I thought she's doing this. You then see something that looked very much like the blade from Zal's earlier marks. I'm so confused. You're going to kill the bastard, aren't you? Just eat a few witty comebacks and show him who's the alpha. Something like that, Carla says. I put my hand on Carla. Shoulder to stop her. Let's stop this bitch. No, you don't have to do that. Carla turns around and stares at you with a confused look in her face. What? Nolazir has told me about his family. What the god actual fuck is going on? What does he have to do with killing some orc? Oh, is... what? He said his mom was always mad and his dad and... Uh, oh, was said his mom was always mad at his dad and would kill him when she got tired of him. What? What are you saying? I'm saying you don't have to kill Zal. Well, isn't Nolzier going to be mad at me? He always said he hated his dad. Zal must have been pretty terrible to, for Nolzier to hate him like that. But Nol Nol Nolzier should hate his fun. Should hate his father. But it's his choice. I command you in the name of myself to not kill anyone for now. Gotta use my commanding voice. Carla steps away from you. Alright, but Mr. Nozia really owes me a story. Carla pulls you aside and whispers to you. Let's see what she says. Unless that's what she said. I don't know. That this is confusing. She's not a bad person. She doesn't doesn't have many friends, and when she finds out the reason why, it's going to be all your fault. Just play dumb and she probably will probably leave with you. But the thing is, just say you didn't do it and the fight will be over. Walk back over to Carla and Zal just as he's sitting up. You're right, boy. Zal nods. Yeah, just hit a bit too hard on that side there. He's the one who started it. Did not. Did too. Didn't. Didn't. What? I quickly get bored of the bullshit and head to the door of the bar. Let's fuck that. Time to go home. Now look here, boy. You're the one who came here and started trouble. You don't want to end it, but I'm going to do it. Understand? Zal nods. 
Fuck this, I'm leaving, leaving the story. I leave the bar to go home and have dinner, cause fuck. I don't want to be at the bar. I'm tired of the bar. When I come back, I'm going to pretend like nothing happens. If he wants to fight, he can just stay outside. Okay, well that's something. After he leaves, Carla will probably want to talk. Don't do that, because she'll pr try to get close and you'll need... You don't need any friends right now. Well, Carla's a ghost anyway. Make it back home to into your room. You sit on your bed thinking about Wendy's words. Nolzier doesn't have any enemies. I, d I don't even know who Wendy is. Who are these people? They're all in a bar. What does he have that would excite Carla enough for her to take out a contract on him? And he, she's a ghost! You don't know about anyone. But you know you don't have any enemies. I sit in the living room awaiting my maid, Carla, to get me more dinner. Because <laughs> I'm an asshole, I guess. Tells me I'm a god. Carla walks in with your dinner. Thank you, Carla. Here you are. I hope it's to your liking. It's fine. Thanks, Carla. Devour your dinner as quickly as possible. You need to think. Carla, can you tell me how you died? The whole story this time. I'm sorry, Mr. Mole, but I can't. Excuse me? I specifically asked you before how you died, and you said you couldn't. That was a long time ago. That was like a day ago or something. I haven't since I have, I, I have since then found peace with God. I am now at peace with myself. Aren't you dead? Like, if you're... If I tell you about the past, it would only cause you pain, for which I'd never forgive myself. Carla, this is important. You need to tell me about your past, which is also my past. I need to know, am I a god? Oh, Jesus. You are not a god. Nobody is perfect, and your kind of lifestyle will only lead to one thing. Carla begins to get angry and grabs a coat and walks out. Well, fuck that bitch. Carla, you're just... I I don't get it. I don't understand. You feel like you've been, you're being ripped off. <sighs> because one moment she says I'm a god, the next I'm not. I go look for the booze in the house. Cause I'm fucking, I need a drink after that shit. You are never going to get to drink this week. You're a failure as a human being? You sit at the table with your head down and eat your dinner. What in the fuck game is you? Are you trying to depress me?